We've harvested the hottest spices in all the Dormant area. We've delved deep into the forgotten caves of Keldor to bring you the hottest sauce of any plane. Introducing Flame Tongue Hot Sauce. Our thermal alchemists have flame slashed and fire blasted only the most searing ingredient to bring a flame to your tongue that causes serious damage. Get tongued. Get Flame Tongue Hot Sauce. Deal for damage to any meal. Available at all fine Singer Superstores. Propaganda, propaganda, it's a time for propaganda. Time to grab your brews and your commons. Propaganda, propaganda, open up your best ideas. Time to watch Deluxe and call Peru a deck for you. What year is this? Nivik Cyclops? Yeah, we're going to eye candy land. It's been quite a while and I never see it anymore. And I got thinking about a skate tunnel and I was like, let's dust this thing off and see where we can take it. So uh, it's a very fast deck. This used to be quite in the meta about five, six years back um, before it went kind of mono red and all that stuff. So this is uh, this is. This list used to just be about everywhere. So we've got 18 lands, uh, five mountains. Uh, what is this? Three, six, nine islands and four escape tunnels. I'll leave it here for a second. So we can activate this before we start doing any instant and sorcery shenanigans to make our guys huge. And uh, then the unblockability still happens. And when we don't need it or early on, we can just use it to go act like an evolving wild, right? So it's pretty cool. I know, Nivik Cyclops in this economy, yes. All right, 32 bit Kraken, good to have you with us, nice and live. So we've got uh, the four brainstorm and ponders to help set up our little, uh, what do we call them, the blue rat? because he rats on all of the secrets. He is no keeper of secrets for sure. He reveals everything. Uh, two Spell Pierce, uh, very rarely play this card, but super nece necessary here. Usually you've only got like a one minute answer. Sometimes you can sit on the spell and things just go wrong. You know what I mean? Uh, we're probably gonna run into, I hope I don't run into too many Tithing Blades because I mean, we're, we are running a pretty low creature count, which is also why I'm running this. Uh, so we can make two creatures and they can be kind of respectable with this sort of build, but we're only running one copy of this. Four Lightning Bolts, four Mutagenics is our, uh, the Mutagenic and the Snap, very hard to take out because it's kind of like the free spell that kickstart everything. It acts like almost a Manamorphous as far as uh, drawing, you know, drawing card or getting you extra lands out of the deal. Um, we've got the Four Apostles Blessing to keep everything safe. Our two kill cards, or eight kill cards, I should say. And I'm running three Battle Rage. I've gone as high as four before, but, uh, you know. And speaking of uh, edict effects, that's why I'm also running three Mystics in the sideboard. So we can kind of change it up a little bit. Uh, we're going pretty hard in the paint with the... Uh, uh, sorcery instant sort of plan. We got two flaring pain, three relics just because we don't care about our graveyard, so we might as well exile it and draw it when, if the need occurs. We got four hydroblasts and three annuls. Um, again, thinking of uh, tithing blades. So some of these matches will go really, really fast. I was messing around with tribe as well, but in the end, I uh, decided this was probably the best route to go. Yeah, so really kind of loving seeing this when it comes up the few times the games go long this is a pretty cool card that's pretty organic you know but it buys you two turns against edict effects and uh they're not too what do you call weak themselves right all righty here we go yes let's see what we can see pretty good hand i got double escape tunnels won't be needing those keep this one yeah we'll just throw the blue rat out there and see how it lives huh maybe it'll flip flip over for us straight out of the way Boop. so far so good would like to get another island hope i don't draw one though probably use an escape tunnel next turn for island and then hold one back if uh it doesn't go that way oh thank you 32-bit kraken for the sub there much appreciated yeah sometimes it's fun to just dust off old lists add one or two new cards to it Take it for a spin and remind yourself, hey, this is pretty good if it's not. But it looks like we're going up against a, uh, can't say that quite right now, but if this is Orzhov, this will be a fight, which is pretty, no. We do like that we drew an island. I mean, I, I don't like it because I was just saying how I need, I wanted to use that escape tunnel to go get it so we don't get extra flooded, but here we are. Yeah, it's raining this morning a little bit here. Hopefully, okay, good. We don't see anything of the uh, black mana persuasion. This looks like some sort of Boros variant. We can't do nothing against this. We're gonna be going to 19. It's weird to be playing a deck that can't gain life. I've been playing other ones for a while. Oh, that's a strange option. 
get to lucky with your 32 bits when I was your age. Rainbows were black and white, and we liked it. <laughs> All right, can't do nothing here. Let's just hope this flips. Ponder, be nice. Uh, that is a, a bit of a sorcery, so we'll say yes to that. We'll bring this down. Drop out our Cyclops and attack. Bit of a clunky hand here. You turn more ancient tomorrow, 53. I think you, you got me by a good four years there, Mindstab. I think I'm 49. <laughs> you always forget. Gruel Cheese. Hey, Deluxe, longtime viewer. It's raining, so I figured I'd tune in for the live stream. All right. Good to have you with us. Why'd it take you so long to chat? <laughs> always good to have. Yeah, somebody will be will click on this stream and they'll think they fell into a, a time funnel, right? Be like, wait a minute, except for escape tunnel, what year is this? Sometimes a zeitgeist decks just move on for no reason. Usually it's a reason, but sometimes you can dust some old stuff off and you're like, hey, wait a minute, this is still pretty good. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Goblin wizardry. <laughs> Uh-oh. This is going to be quick. What do we need? We need like a um, ponder battle rage here. That might not be enough. Got a bolt coming to our head or anything. Yeah. Ponder battle rage. Let's go. Snap helps. That helps a lot. Is it worth doing a double for that? I think it might be. Now they're going to block there, though. Yeah, I can get I can get a double play out of there. Our Zarcos, hello from the Philippines. Good to have you with us. I think we'll wait on this. Let's see. Well, yeah, let's, let's snap now. I've got to do this just to stay alive in the game here. This guy's not going to get him for the, the most damage. So that's why I'm going to play the wizardry too. Could make it. Could have played the escape tunnel first, tripped it to make it unblockable, but I'm fine with with the block here. Make it extra incentive to block some more. Just a lot of neat little synergy with this. Just having one of these in the deck. Hey, Gruel Cheese subscribed. Thank you so much. Vastly appreciated. Woo! Attack. Opponent's like, what is this? Gotta have enough creatures to uh, warrant this metagame, you know? There's so many edict effects out there. You just... So I was looking for a token generator, found the prowess, remembered this old goblin wizardry, and I was like, that's a pretty good fit. Always like seeing it. Get you two turns against edicts, and sometimes close out the game. We've withstood the first all that glitters. Let's see if more things are going to start glittering. Glinthawk will grab them. We did the Glinthawk security commercial. I haven't played that one in quite a while. So when I make these shows, you know, once, I've, once I'm once i done with the show, I have my little cheat sheet piece of paper, and I go and I, I make a, oh boy, look at that. I make another folder that just says like, um, well, all the, all the stuff we can't, uh, that I've already used, so I don't keep reusing it. And so we don't have, Flame Tongue Hot Sauce doesn't air four weeks in a row that way. So that way I'm, I'm able to keep, usually repetitions from happening for about eight months, nine months sometimes. But then sometimes I just really like a certain spot or something, and I'll, I'll play it within a month or two. But I wonder what Shiraz is up to. He sure has stayed with a spell. Good. Wow. Yeah, we're getting pretty, pretty lucky here. We don't even need the thing here. So let's just do this. We'll bounce it. That, that was such a hell of a top deck. About the only thing better would be like Ponder or Brainstorm into that. So do the. All right. There we go. Begin. So let's not delude ourselves. They were they stumbled a bit on their mana. Um, I'm actually going to lose. I think I'll lose two of these because we're going to be bringing in our Hydroblast package here. Uh, I want to bring in all of this. Let's, do I just lean on the other? Like lose lose that? Boy, snap was huge there, wasn't it? Um, we have quite a few flyers. I wonder if I, should, I could get rid of, uh, well, Delver can trade with everything. 
Hey, this is rough. I'm going to I'm going to lose our whole package here. I'll get rid of the spell pierces for one brainstorm. I think I'm going to go like that. We're going pretty pretty heavily boarded here. I want to be able to stop glitters and not have to wait for snaps. So now we've got seven answers there, and then we can keep our stuff alive with this and stay alive a little bit longer without using that mana there. Yeah, flaring. Yeah, see, that's the thing. It's like there's so many, so many things. Um, maybe I do want one flaring pain. Thanks for bringing that up. Uh, I'll go one Delver out. Well, let's go. If we see it. Nice to have that ray of hope. Flaring pain is so much more important in this style of list than in other lists because it kind of goes all out, right? Because of our draw package, we and we know we're not facing edicts so far. Maybe they didn't find their swamp, right? Um, I like I keep these kind of hands with you know the little ponder of hope. So we'll keep this. Plus we're on the draw. We've got mutagenic to keep things alive through bolts. Hopefully you don't have to use them that way. But and we might see a journey, so this annul might be relevant. Yeah, I know. Boy, there's been a lot of times, Mind Stab, that that whole you control thing does get in the way of things. That's weird having eight of the same card. I guess Mog Raider and Sledder have company now with Novice Inspector. All right. Do we fix things or do we wait to counter something? I'm going to fix stuff. Let's go find. Boy, you know, you'd think we'd have more mountains in this than islands, but it's quite the opposite. Well, that's pretty good. We can go, except that we're going to be drawing that now. And we'll draw that next. I still like it. So if we elaborate, nope. We'll keep that down. Go from there, set up some creatures. Problem with this plan, though, is that we're heavy in red and all of the stuff we want to be doing is in blue. So man is fighting us a little bit here. Not on the complaint level yet. Would have liked to annul that. That's a pain, those bar barter fists or whatever they're called. Crazy. This won't be flipping anytime soon. Here comes Nivix. Oh, that's right. I stacked it incorrectly. Hmm. Considering pondering here instead of bringing out the rat. Eh, we'll bring this out. Develop some sort of board state. Tempted to block there, geez. <laughs> Mine's dead. Deluxe pondering a ponder. Brainstorming about pondering something. That doesn't, that's a little more clunky. Here's another good bald card. There is not a bad bald magic card in common, I don't think. It'll be quite unexpected to block there, but we're not going to. We'll let this through. Representing lightning bolt, we have none. There's the disgusted inspector. This looks like it's going their way pretty quickly. Nope. We knew that was coming. At least we get a defender up now. Uh, I just want to develop here, keep these things off of us. At least we can live through that straight up block. That feels kind of nice. Mutagenic feels really good here. Probably be able to trade with one of their better creatures in the Seeker or the Batter Fist. Oh, what was that show I was watching on Netflix? It's like um, three people problem or something. It's a clunky title. Man, it's a good not done with it yet, but I binged it pretty hard yesterday. Work was very slow, so I was getting paid to watch TV. That always feels funny. Boop. Oh, boy. Bye-bye, Delver. Hmm. It's not that scary yet, is it? Let's see. There's not many artifacts out except for those damn tokens. Yeah, that's still pretty big. <laughs> Lifelink, eh? Ah, uh, well, just to stay alive. Can we just take... We can just take that. 
Yeah, if we top deck something, that might be worth doing. So right now, that's 11 damage. They could have a Gal Blast, so I think I got to block with um, the Blue Rat. We'll see what they do here. Use some, some of this burn maybe on our Nivix, I'm not sure. Crunch. Not how I expected that to go down. Okay. Where the heck is our blue mana? To stay alive, I might need to do that. If I ponder and find something, that's going to be pretty rocking, but it's got to be an island at this point, doesn't it? And then to what end? Yeah. I th I'm going to wait on that ponder. I think this is the better play. It gives us a blocker, even though they're going to be gaining a lot of life. Maybe I should have Gut Shot. It's a free spell, and I can zap the token before they gain the life. Let's see if this guy gets through. Probably, I would imagine, only four. Okay. Now, if I want to use that Mutagenic defensively, the, just the prowess is going to make my boys two twos, so that feels like an option. Not sure. Not quite sure. All right, Limba's showing up. Up goes the glitter count. Oh, that's a good one, Dreamer Stingo. That's right. Weakness is a pretty bad common. Boy, that's old school. <laughs> he used to have to rely on that to form some semblance of removal. He used to think Terror was just the, one of the best cards ever being an old school player and then as the game's gone on it's like unplayable now how it used to say berry <laughs> yeah, i've got about three decks in progress i just wasn't quite feeling the other ones do i want to take those guys out i think i do nah let's play for the win it's at 10. Ugh. We can't just fall for a blast here. Let's block here. Yeah, Black Knight was hell of a card back in the day. Got even Whirling Dervish in like the late 90s. That was, saw some sideboard love. That's a pretty good pull. Red is up. Let's go see if we can find some more blue. Don't have to worry about prismatic right now. Really want to see an uh, island here. I've got Battle Rage. That's good. I'll do this to this to this. Let's see, nope. Bring this down. I guess we'll pull this now and see what happens. Battle Rage. How to win now. Don't think this is going to go. Unfortunately, yeah, this isn't going to be enough here. I can Hydro Blast like any target. Maybe I'll go after the Barter Fist here, but I just, yeah, I want to make sure that this doesn't happen. Always yield. And I think we're... We're not dead next turn, technically. So we can do this here. This kind of works out good. We're going to be able to save it with Mutagenic anyway. Just want to see if the math is worth it. Stack math. It's tough. Can we get there? Boink. Boink. Prowess, dudes, not not too bad. Kind of looks like sloth from the Goonies. Dun dun dun! Everybody, do the math thing. Woo! And just like that, crunch crunch. We got around, and all that glittered. Life linked eight eight. Hey, you guys! <laughs> all right. Good times. 
Yeah, see, 18 minutes in, we're already up a game. This is a uh, this was popular back in the day too because of the grindability. You know, you could enter a league and be done in under two hours, uh, as long as you don't run into iron walls of edicts, right? Which is pretty popular these days. So, so we're getting around it a little bit this way with slow rolling. But then uh, game two against any sort of edict engine, we're going to be bringing in all of these considered a. Uh, um, Gorilla Shaman for a while, you know, just as like edict bait and stuff like that, but just not finding him to be as valuable as he used to be. But was it popular? Oh, uh, Monday night we had the uh, local paper magic thing. Um, my boy got first technically, and I tied for second, so that was pretty cool. I actually I pl I brought eight rat and lost to goblins badly, like over and over again. Even got me two zero the very first round. And uh, then I was like, this is a fluke. And we played like two more times and he did the same thing. It was just like these perfect, uh, just bushwhacker every time hands, you know, where you, like if you, if you were to like kind of stack your deck up and just, he just had these beautiful, beautiful draws so much so that I, I asked the uh, designer for the list and, uh, but you know, it's a super unpopular on a stream to play that because we'll keep this because of the brainstorm and the escape tunnel. I just like having our mana just right here, four and four. We'll trip the brainstorm. Can hide some extra lands. Who knows? We'll go from there. So anyway, uh, hopefully more people start playing it because we just had enough. There was only a six-person, three-round thing, but it was pretty cool to uh, meet some new people. And yeah, Jacob. That was the name of the designer. Forget the last name though. Just be happy. Ever. Sometimes people look like their name. You know what I mean? Hey, chat. Where'd you go? I want to make sure I'm still streaming here. Everybody got real quiet. Boop. All right. Here we go. A red deck. Big surprise. Snap. That feels pretty good. We'll do the thing. Wait for the end of turn. Crack the brainstorm. If we see a bunch of lands, we'll uh, opt to get them, get rid of them via escape tunnel and then go from there. You're live. Okay. <laughs> ah, where's my spell? Pierce now. Hmm. All right, this is, let's call this deck RDW from now on. I like to do this right at the beginning of attack. So often people will uh, mess things up that way. Well, we could go, um, let's see, top, top, top. How would flush that out? Dover's not going to win this matchup. I'll say uh, top, top. We'll go, um, let me see here. I can just ponder away the problems here. Let's ponder first. I mean, I could technically snap. I'm not too worried about those until, you know, obviously Bushwhacker's going to yowza. My goodness. Blue, blue, blue. I don't like this. This is pain, and this takes too long. So I guess I'll say top, top, top shuffle. Yeah, want to shuffle. Don't be, oh, God, I was thinking, don't be another land. We'll develop here a bit. We only have 18 lands. Pretty low count. Can feel a bit like a flood when you got Brainstorm and Ponder too, though. There it is, boink. Just like that. This is feeling like the, the therapy lesson that I had in, in Paper Magic where they just had it like every time the first time. We're blocking here. There's no illusions who's doing what. Ah, yeah, boink. 211, still in the still in the right digits here. Okay, there's a ponder. Let's go look for some more. I'm probably going to snap one of those tokens regardless of what I find. Be nice to find a kiln fiend here. Nothing. I'm going to get rid of all of this. Yes, don't be a land. It's a land. Do I really want to do that? We're going to be in single digits here soon, so. Could have just folded up shop and not shown them any red. I throw them way off, but. Today's list, yes. I don't know how this deck got the name Eye Candy. I've always called it just, you know, is it Blitz or you are Blitz? It's, it's got a lot of names out there. I just don't know if that's worth it or not, but I'm going to feel like it is. With... Bounce the <laughs> bushwhacker. 
worst play ever. At least we can promote that we have counter magic waiting and in singles digits. Here we come. Really nice to top deck a Cyclops here just for the blockability. Nicer if we had Mutagenic to keep it alive. Now, Hot Dogs was the one with just Kiln Fiend and the um, Emoliating um, Soul Eater. Why do I know this? Ponder. This is pretty much good game right now. Yeah, this is just... That snap's interesting to keep us alive a little bit, right? Do I, eh, I'm just going to say any order. Shuffle. C consider a snap there, but this game's lost. Let's go to game two. Hill. This way they don't really know our plan. All right. Pretty obvious what we're going to be doing here. Bloop. We'll bring these guys in. I'm not too worried about this. I might want one Mystic in, though, just to uh, have some sort of late-game plan. I want to close things out early. What are we getting rid of? don't want to be screwing up my life very much here. I think I'm going to lose all of our blessings there. A bit weird. I mean, we're kind of asking this to serve double duty. Um, I do want to keep mutagenic for bolts and combat tricks. No way to gain life, though, so Anol is interesting, but you put, bring in a, a card like Anol in this matchup, it makes you feel like a genius when it works, and then the majority of the time you're just going to be staring at it. Well, let's go. I like this. I've always liked frogs, any sort of amphibians. As a friend in me, yeah, let's play first. Well, we've got a lot of hate, but not much else. But because of how this deck rolls, I'm going to keep this. I really like this stultifying tactic right out of the gates. Just, you know, maybe stop a Kodatha. Our land's right. If we top deck a creature, we might be able to get there. It's awfully defensive, but when you're going against the most aggressive deck in the format, I think we have to take a back seat. And I would escape tunnel normally, but I think I want to have I'd rather have a first turn blast available since we're not staring down like a kiln fiend or something. If we top deck one, I'll feel a little bad about it. But. And we walk right into that. But maybe that's that's why, right? Maybe they did have it and I'm gonna have to slow roll this quite a bit. This is getting better by the minute. I'm gonna crack it right now. It's just an Evolving Wilds with a nice side ability. That's why we picked it. It's one of those keep it in the back of your mind decks, you know, like... Do I kill that? Hmm. I'm going to let that one through, because we can always kill it. As we will do right now. Maybe we eat another something rather like a, another red spell here. Who knows? Do they have a Blast for the Blast? With three in our hand, this doesn't feel like much of a decision. Oh! There it is. That would have been so nice to counter. But no, I had to go and stay alive. Yeah, I know all the other... Uh... <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? Should I just snap the hell out of this stuff? We can always do it on our turn. <laughs> double snap and then just take one. Really want to have an answer for a uh, bushwhacker here. Two at that. Battle rage. Kind of looks like my wife. If she was very fierce. All right. Snap now or forever. Hold the pieces, right? a great hand if we had a creature. Two feels a lot more doable. I'll hold the other snap. Might have to keep our own dude alive. 18 ain't so bad at this stage. Usually you're in single digits, right? Let's counter this dude. Boop. That's 
fine. Now, oh boy, where are our creatures hiding? This is madness. Mana's right, just need a creature to show up. Battle Rage, so much better than the other. Boink. Now watch, they've got the blast. Blast for the effect. Echoing Truth might have been a miss here. I don't know, that's about the only scenario where you want it. Oh, you da, 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 da. I'm going to do this again. Just two of turns a lot. All right. We cannot hemorrhage any life. We're paying our own life for mutagenic and such, so... Hard to do a uh, turn math with mountains across from you. <laughs> Usually gets quantified pretty quickly. All right, good time for a ponder. Let's see. Wow, there's just nothing helping us here. Yeah, we could do that. Our island ponder tattoo. Interesting. Boom, boom, boom. No. Do this again. There's a Cyclops, cool. All right. That's frustrating, isn't it? I'll say no here. We will have creatures and strange orders. Dun, 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 dun. Glad it's a Cyclops, though. Could probably keep it alive with mutagenic growth. Till then, we're going to have to slow roll. One of the other big problems with this list is that uh, a lot of hate in the sideboards that end in blast affect what we're trying to do. But in the end, you can only have eight of them, so. Liking that we did that with snap. Hopefully this lands. And our opponent's going, aha, now this deck makes sense. We haven't really shown it. They ran us over the game one. Cool, it hit. Feel better? Oh, you're right. 16 blasts. That, that's very true. hey -ah. Okay, that's what I was afraid of. That's two, so we'll let that through. Did they just mess up? Or do they got another blast? They do. All right, we'll keep it alive. Our one card for their two, unless they have a uh, lightning bolt here. Yep, that makes sense. It's like, what are they waiting on? Why aren't they making a creature out of this deal? Well, we gotta rely on Delver to do 20. Because we, thanks to Ponder, we know what we're drawing next. That's right, Flash Flood and Active Volcano were the other two. How does that read, active volcano? Isn't that just destroy an island, or I mean a yeah, mountain or an island, or what is that one? I think they're they're legal. Ponderganda. Choose one, destroy a blue permanent or turn an island. Okay. Why would that volcano return an island? I guess if you think about it geographically with, with eons, that might be a true thing, like, you know, Volcanoes end up making lands and moving things, but it's getting a little terramorphic. All right, here comes the rat. The Tattler of Tales, that's what it should have been called. The Blue Tattletail. I think we're headed for our first loss. About to write it down. <laughs> oh no, this is another bushwhacker. It's gotta say for every hydroblast we drew, they've drawn a bushwhacker. To a turn. Snitching stool pigeon. There's a good one. Gosh, even though the one five dude would be pretty cool here. 
Reveal it. Yeah. Let's go. We're just going to be on uh, block patrol here at this life total. We have almost zero chance here. They have to just draw like mountain, mountain, and we have to just fall into like, what, like a kiln fiend and another Cyclops. There's a Tomb Raider showing up. Okay, well, at least we'll kill that. Come on through, Mr. Haste Man. Block and kill. Take two. Make sure our blockers happen first. We'll kill the Epicure. And then we will bolt the other dude. The old school bolt. Love this art. It's elegant design. Tomb Raider looks, looks nothing like Laura Croft. Yeah, she, she's gone downhill. <laughs> it's, life's been rough after the movie, right? Uh, come on, List. It was so good the first game. This island does nothing for us, so I'm going to hold it. It's probably the biggest misplay I see. Every week I'll be playing somebody, and as their opponent, you know, you're on pins and needles, and then they reveal that they're – or they, they just put down that land that they don't need that makes them hellbent. And it's like, oh, you made my decisions a whole lot easier. So always question. you got to – certain decks, you know, need all the mana they can get, but – Usually, dropping one down, especially at this stage of the game in a deck like this, isn't going to do too much. We lose. Need like an Aether Burst here. <laughs> and three in the yard. There's an old school card from Odyssey, right? That used to be the removal of... Blue removal of choice before Snap was kind of figured out. Showing my pauper age. We're dead. Off to the next game. I don't want to get pummeled by a bushwhacker. Well, we looked unbeatable the first game, and we looked very beatable that game. Let me uh, create, and we'll go from here. Excuse me for just a sec. I've got coffee steam nose happening. All right, here we go. We got the expand, one of the, um, I never liked the Settlers of Catan expansions, but, oh, we're all on red. I was about to snap keep that mulligan. But there is a new one out. We'll keep this. I guess this goes back done. Um, but there's, well, there's, it always happens in our household or in our game nights where we'll have five or six people and we can't play Catan. So they came out when, we, when I was at the tournament. I saw a, a five and six player expansion, just a, two more colors, a few more tiles to expand the board. We still haven't played it. It's game night. Uh, two people couldn't make it, so it was only three. Yeah, this is match three, baby. All right. We'll make this pretty simple. We'll just keep up spell pierce. Pass and go. This kiln thing can go supernova if all things go right. I don't really have anything to sacrifice to it, Dreamer Stingo. It's not an artifact to be found. Let's just support set up here. Probably the scariest turn two drop you can do in the format. These look gorgeous from a distance and up close. You know, it might look better without that tower in the distance, just to make it a hill. It looks a lot like a Desolation Wilderness up near a Lake Tahoe area. It looks a lot like this in the Highlands. Really dig it. We're just going to win here unless we walk into a fog. <laughs> yeah, Martyr of Ashes. That used to see quite a bit of play, too. Whoa. Oh, boy. Let's let's get our mana right. Anything we can just slow roll the Kiln Fiend this turn and get our mana right and then have a double Kiln Fiend next turn. This is awkward, isn't it? Let's throw all this back. Yep. All right. What kind of blows, huh? Attack. Do it while we can. Crunch. There's half the life. Uh, the correct answer is just to uh, win before you need any sort of sweepers. <laughs> That's what this deck should be doing. 
Always dug this artwork. But God, that should be a Simic card, shouldn't it? Slime against humanity. And we have Snap in our hand. That feels pretty good. Come on, land. Basic. All right, cool. Well, now we've got quite a few things to ponder. Wonk, wonk, wonk. Let's set this up. We might just win here. Battle Rage? That's pretty good. I think I'm going to go top, top, top on this. Or do I? Yeah, well. Do that. Say no. Snap this. Just go for the win here. Boink. Okay. Boop, boop. Uh, might as well play this. All right. We would have won there. Oops. That was weird. What just happened? We're supposed to go to sideboarding, aren't we? Everybody see that? That was that was really strange. Return the game. What does this do? Oh, okay. That's what I did. I've never seen that before. I think all the times I've played, that would be a thing. All right. What what were we playing against? <laughs> it was green something slime. That's right. Slime, slime, slime. Uh, graveyard is not going to be relevant, but they might have some fog effects. I'm just going to roll it back until we see what we're dealing with here. Thank you for the return to game mention there. I'm just reading that now. Tell me slimes, tell me sweet little slimes. I feel like a bit of a, I told you so with that slime against humanity. A lot of people were real excited about that. I was like, nope, not going to get there, I don't think. We will keep this hand. Got an early Delver. Hopefully it just turns on and we can put some good pressure on. Delver is kind of the answer to life gain. It can keep people within striking distance. We'll keep this. It is refreshing to play a deck with mostly just basics. Just like playing like, I think they old timers just call it honest magic. There's a slime against humanity discord. Wow. Well, I might be proven wrong one of these days. This guy has been seeing quite a bit of play. I know I played him just the other week in that weird green contraption. I will be missing a show next next uh, month, going up to see my son and going up to the uh, Card Kingdom in Seattle and visiting that neck of the woods, but it's only going to be one Saturday. Around September, though, it's my wife and I's 25th anniversary and a few other big things and camping trips. So September... Or I might only have like one show, so apologies in advance. I'll let everybody know when that goes down, obviously. But, ooh, this hand just keeps getting better. I hope I just draw an island here. That would be ideal. Yeah, the Maverick might be a good fit in green one because of that second ability. Throw that on the uh, Toby Drake or a uh, Ginger Brute and swing. All right, what do we have here? Slime showing up. Yeah, Snap's going to be MVP. Bigger those slimes get. Just give me an island. Actually, what do we want here? Like a ponder so this flips. Then we'll go find it. Escape tunnel. Say no to that. Play this. We'll play the escape tunnel. Yeah, we'll just trip it right now. Go get another blue. All right, might as well attack. I don't think they're going to be running Basking Root Walla with some way I don't know of of how to discard just because. Yeah, it seems to be a card I might have mi missed, Echoing Truth, which is rare. Usually in blue, it's kind of almost a um, like a proxy or, or like you have a template of like certain deck types so you don't have to import everything again. It'd be a good thing to build like template blue, template red, just so you, you don't have an easy miss when you're making a new deck. 
I think the last time we played on the show a Slimes Against Humanity list, I did have Echoing Truth in hand, and it got rid of like four or five of them. It's like just those perfect scenario plays. We've seen two meta decks. We're 50-50. We beat Boros, and we lost bad to blue, which has been a theme this week for me. I mean, to red. I think after enough uh, life gain, you could... Figure some stuff out. Okay, there we are. Shall we flip? Yes. Ha. Do I just take it now? Hold the snap? I think we hold the snap and just take damage. I'm just going to develop here. Attack. We'll be taking a whole lot of damage. We could opt to block and kill it. I'd rather be on offense when I'm doing that, especially with a Battle Rage in hand. You really want to store up your all your tricks for your turn, which is, again, why Snap is so good in this build. It's like uh, <laughs> target player plays two spells when they can only normally play one. There's the first bonk. I guess we snap that. That'd be funnest. I think we win here. Yeah, so even here I could just do the escape tunnel trick. That'd be pretty sweet. Keep this in mind here. If I, if I do this, yeah, we'll do, we'll do the brainstorm first. Turn on our Cyclops man. Give me your battle rage, kind of negating the other one here. Put two cards on the top. All right, I'll put this and this on top. We can do this. We'll do this to snap here. I'm tapping mountain, yielding to this. I don't know where this is going. Two, yo, do this. Extra thrash bonus. Any order, yes. Oh boy, this just got insulting. Careful where, where where I click, right? Here's a whole lot of damage. Hiya! Is there a hidden spore frog in their graveyard? I don't think so. Double strike makes it right. Crunch. Woo! All right, I need some more coffee. What shall we do? Let's go visit Wiki Bear. It's been a while. Courtesy of the Conan O'Brien Show. I'll be right back right after this. I can answer any question you have. I'm Wiki Bear. <laughs> okay, Wiki Bear. What's the most successful movie ever released in China? Checking now. <laughs> the 2014 film Transformers: Age of Extinction has earned over 1.7 billion dollars, making it China's biggest blockbuster ever. Yay! <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed that. Thank you, Wiki Bear. Speaking of explosive action, the ancient city of Pompeii was completely destroyed by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius, which buried 20,000 Roman citizens under scorching hot ash. Okay, uh, that's interesting to know. Imagine being burned alive in a literal hell on earth with temperatures hot enough to cook a rotisserie chicken. Make mine extra crispy, yay! Okay. <laughs> Wiki Bear, maybe we shouldn't get into the details there for kids. Kids don't want to hear that. Many of the victims were Roman slaves. What a gruesome end to a miserable life. Okay. I'm Wiki Bear. All right, well, anyway, Wiki Bear, thank now you. Now their corpses are on display for gawking tourists, robbed of dignity even in death. Okay, Yay! Wiki Bear, let's change the subject. Here's another question, okay? When did Disneyland first open? That's easy. The happiest place on earth opened its doors on July 17th, 1955 in Anaheim, California. That's exactly right. And you know who never got to ride Space Mountain? The sailors on the whale ship Essex, which was attacked and sunk by an angry whale in 1820. The starving survivors quickly resorted to cannibalism, <laughs> using the scalding hot sun to cook their own shipmates' organs. I'm Wiki Bear. <laughs> And 
we're back. Alrighty. Good old Wiki Bear never lets down. Where's Quadratic Hawk? I know it's been quite a spell. Hopefully everything's all right. We're already queued up and stuff. It's going over the deck list here. Liking it pretty good so far. We're already on game... F it's just under an hour and we're on game four. That's how these go. So been having quite a few marathon shows lately. So and I was like, eh, it might be a good time to have a fast one here. Yeah, so two and one at the moment. That last one. Funny how good Delver is and how rare it's seen anymore now. But one gets out of control, and we've all been there. Starts pecking you. That's that's this every turn. It's pretty cool. But I do like to put my uh what's that enchantment I like so much? Uh oh, Cloud of the Dominus. That's the one. I think we mentioned that last week too. It's nice to be able to put that on there and protect your investment, right? A little kill card. This feels really good here. I was thinking a Mystic Main might be even better. Could easily swap this out for one of the Mystics. Spell Pierce been underperforming, just the timing hasn't been there today. We'll see. Maybe we'll draw it now. Spell Pierce. Opening hand. Let's go. No lands. Whole lot of colors. Not much else. Mulligan. Keep. Too many of these, but if I get rid of it, what's going to happen? Hmm. <laughs> Underperforming Wiki Bear. Never. This is tough. I got a weird feeling if I got rid of a mountain, I'm never going to cast three, but I do think that's the right play. So I'm done. I'm going to hope our Delver gets busy early. Let's see what our opponent's on here. Swamp. Change of plan. I don't want to walk into a blade. I'll keep up Spell Pierce here. Even better. Let's go fix our land. At least set some things up. Sacrificial Lamb. Kill card. We need Mana and Battle Rage. That'd be pretty cool. All right. Well, there's one of them. Hmm. Free library, no. Our mana is going to be right. We'll be able to protect Delver from probably a Titan Blade next turn. I assume that's what they're going to... Seems to be the removal of choice. Maybe even more so than Cast Down these days, huh? Pretty rare a new card comes out that is that impactful. I mean, there's a lot of 75s out there that got changed up when Titan Blade showed up. Looks to be a blade style list. We'll do that mega thwarting play of, oh man, double delver feels tempting. We know we're not gonna flip it though. Do we double delve anyway though? It's not gonna flip. I'm gonna double delve. We got suffocating fumes. I could probably keep one alive with mutagenic. I'm not sure if it's worth it though. It's like we know the next two draws are going to be dead on Delver. So, wow, they're both coming back. I did not see that in the forecast. Let's just say here, we're going to say no to the what is it? Mountain, I think. Nope. Okay. I thought I shaved so well and I missed a few spots. I can feel a little bit of sandpaper. No. Naked Delvers. I think we wait a turn on this in case there's a cast down. I want to have an answer for it. So I'm going to slow roll this a bit. Get in for two. Flip it or rip it. That'd be a good little segment. Yep. I could get around that. We can keep it. No, we can't. Can't keep it alive. All right. It's dead. Playing around Spell Pierce. Hmm. So tempted to bring out Cyclops. They drop another Swamp and defile it. We can keep it alive with Mutagenic, but they might have Cast Down. I 
got to wait a turn. It's so much more than a cruel edict, too, though. We'll stop the spell from going off. I only get one card, and it'll cost you a card. Ba doom Yeah, that sepulchre ability just makes it so flexible. Because normally, if it, if it was just an edict effect, it would only be good for that ability, but that secondary, like, value out of it is just crazy. So it looks like a gardens list that hasn't drawn green yet. Pathetic Drought, drawing some cards. I haven't messed around. I have this card. I just always prefer it to be that little pirate dude. But I guess you get double value on that without the creature attacking, so... All right, let's go. Yes, we will reveal that. Good timing here. We'll feign that we have uh, some more uh, spell pierces in our hand here. So we just attack. Boop. Apostle's Blessing feels really good here. Mutagenic, not so much other than just on offense. Okay, let's say black. Really like that they have waited till our turn, but oh well. Boink. Protected from said list. <laughs> yeah, well, I can just keep it alive still. Right? It'll be a 2 2. Sure. Paying four life to keep this thing alive. What's going on? Do they got another one? That resolves. And this say black. Boop. All right. I really want to see a ponder, and we can just go find some more fun. Ponder battle rage. That'd be pretty sweet. That's not too bad. It'll let us attack. I'll put more creatures on the board. And then if we have a ponder, it's going to get really ugly. I'm really liking this card in this build. It was just a little eureka moment last night. I was... I'm like, it needs, needs more creatures, but I can't really afford the spots for creatures. So it has to be a spell that activates Delver and the Kiln Fiend and Cyclops ability and makes creatures. So it really narrowed it down. And then I was like, wow, this really fits in this list. I won one game off of just the wizard tokens last night. It was a pretty epic long one too, but I was able to you know, ponder into a ponder into like a brainstorm and it just got crazy. So they were like six sixes on one turn. <laughs> the threat that I love this mechanic too. Prowess is such a just elegant, easy to explain ability. Uh oh. Boy, they better not let me draw. Hmm. Well, that's strange. Attack! Any spell would have won the game there. Yeah, I don't like them letting us untap there because if I have any spell right here, I it, we just win, keep our guys alive. Do I risk? I think I do. Odds that he has another rat. He would need rat swamp to do too much. Our Delver is quite the threat here because we're hellbent. So, given what we've seen, I'd probably lose Fiend here if we get Edict. Edicted? Is that the right way to say it? Unearth Toxin! That's right. Well, that'll keep him alive for a bit. Yeah, this is just mono black, I think. A new breed of it. Hanging in there because they're not playing Chittering Rats. Wink, wink. Woo! Let's do the thing. Hope they don't have snuff out. Hiya! Well, this feels pretty good here. Let's do this and... Uh, hmm, I guess I could do that, right? This might even be better. Yeah, yeah. We'll go here for black. Calling it... Black. Attack! 
Yeah. Person's like, what year is this? Who dares go all in on a Kiln Fiend style play, right? Let's see. There's a W again. I feel like those lists should run um, Dark Rituals. I like having that. I want to bring in at least two Mystics here. I'm not too worried about much else. A Null, I think, would be really overboarding here. Spell Pierce. They were already playing around that game one. Don't really see too many creatures. I actually think I'll lose two bolts here. Yeah, let's let's try this out. Limbo bent? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is way too good. Those Celsius waters are pretty sweet. Keep this. I want to slow roll this one. Sit behind Pierce. Probably a turn three Kiln Fiend here. Kind of want to just draw it an island. That would let us hold back on the escape tunnel. Such a flexible card. It's like Secret Killer or Mana Fixer. All right. This makes our decision very easy. We'll go get an island. Boop. Isn't there a war with France where they famously dug a dug a tunnel under like I mean it was like a couple of football fields were able to infiltrate or am I making that up? I think they referenced it in Peaky Blinders more historically too. Any any uh historian out there know what I'm talking about? Hmm. Call me crazy. Since we have Battle Rage in hand, I just want to make our mana just perfect, and I do not want to put out a, a naked Hellhound here, so I'm actually going to go get a mountain. Just two and two. Don't need any more mountains. Do need more islands, but we can hold it three or four. I'm sure that's one of many tales. I'm sure plenty of wars have had s small excursions underneath the ground to surprise the enemy, but... I think there was one colossal one that was just pretty burly. I thought about splashing black since we have a skate tunnel for like one swamp and an unearth package because unearth works on all these dudes. Okay. So what's the vote here? Do we drop Kiln Fiend, hide behind Spell Pierce? Gotta pull the trigger at some point. It would be nice to just have these out there to eat up edicts though, right? Don't want to play too cowardly. Let's go like this. We've got a spell pierce. Hopefully they don't have a devour or whatever it is. Here comes something nasty. Yep, defile. Dang it. Mm. Bye bye, Kiln Fiend. Heck, I'd even. Anything but a land now. We're in that Mother May I mode. That feels pretty good. I'm gonna I'm gonna get out our dude here. I'm really afraid of Edix here. I'm gonna just play around this. Next turn if we do stuff our prowess happens, otherwise they gotta use you know, they don't know our hand. Maybe they think we're out of creatures, we're relying on that kiln fiend, but now we got two. Don't mind seeing that. A bit of a roadblock, but not something you really want to snap. But at this stage, I might. It's a two life gain um, time walk here. That feels pretty good. All right. Well, I guess we'll bring down Big Fatty here. Fatty McGee, sit back and hope Crypt Rats don't show up. Of course, we could survive that. How good would Spell Pierce Spear if it... Just said counter target spell unless they pay two. It's like, oh my god. Of course, they already have that printed, right? Isn't that spell rune or spell blast? Or what is that modern card that does that? It's a cave troll, just like out of the movie. Bit worried about a snuff out here. We 
And we could always spell pierce our own spell. Oh, I'm glad I drew that. All right, well, let's see. If I battle rage, spell pierce it, pay the two. <laughs> Mutagenic? <laughs> that could get pretty fun. Hmm. And this is more than four, was it? Four or greater. One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, we can, we can double rage here. All right. Let's double rage. One rage here. Prowess on the stack. Well, let's go. Yeah, baby. We'll rage here. Paying this. Come on now. Don't have to worry about our clock at all with this style of play, right? Make sure we click on the right one. Bonk. All right, let's attack. Hi -ya! How good would snuff out be right here? We just spell pierce it and get the bonus. Bye bye, team. Crunch. Crunch. Death. Do, 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 do. Insert metal music. So far, the red deck is the only obstacle. Quadruple strike whoosh, with weird deformed goblins. If you think about it, that's probably pretty true artwork for as reckless as goblins are, and I would assume inbred <laughs> all these weird faces that's probably the widest swath of artistic direction that wizards has as goblins they look crazy different in all kinds of stuff so haven't seen too much of our uh, sideboard come into play here it would be neat to see murmuring mystic pay off happened one once last night yeah we shall see where's my little front board here. There we go. So I was uh, initially this whole week I was trying to make a gutter snipe build. I still haven't really seen one. I, when it first came out everybody tried their hand at it but um, so I've been working on that with this deck called Gutter Boys. <laughs> really like it. Obviously when it's unchecked it was in place of the Delver in this list but you'd be surprised. Um, I th we felt it a little bit one or two of these games where you get kind of you know, your man only goes so far you know so having a three drop was pretty expensive but i think if you went like a right of flame um yeah sort of a what's what's the other one with the storm mechanic where you just power out red mana for cheap oh love this hand could use a few more tricks we'll keep it don't know what we're up against Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Dreamer Stango, because of the whole unearth package. Or keep it safe with white, right? Benevolent Blessing, but then that doesn't interact with it because it's an enchantment. All right. Some sort of Simic creation. Ooh, those look cool. No more lands for the rest of the game, please. We know we're going to draw one. <laughs> Told you. Just doing this for tempo. I'd really like to tr cr crack that escape tunnel earlier but in the scenarios where this has come up it pays to be the aggro and we're just getting very unlucky by drawing lands but I can't complain too much we're 3-1 I know this deck was fast I didn't think it was this fast I mean if I played a little bit quicker and round two went a little bit differently we might have been able to finish in just over an hour that's crazy maybe I'll play another one on earth is the main reason but retrace with Raven's Cry and Flame Jack <laughs> yeah yeah, Flame Jab, that's another card that used to always be on people's sideboards and just kind of found its way out. I think spells have gotten, uh, just bigger spells have gotten better and more popular. And so people want to be playing their mana, not pitching it. Sorcery speed's a big thing there too. We'll say no to that. I do like this land. It's cool looking. Just over ice, pretty great. 
Let's attack first in case there's some sort of shenanigans or a sprout token that they're anticipating. Yeah, you might be right there, mind stab throw. In fact, I kind of feel like you are right. You're throwing a kiln fiend into that too, right? Speaking of, here comes the scalding slap of chaos. Crunch. Bye bye. Or kind of Oh boy, it's a fog deck. Okay, our only out here is to hope this cyclops sticks. And we get our counter magic and they get a little mana screwed. We will say yes here. Did not expect to see this. Happy to, though, because uh, it's going to represent a little bit more longevity to the stream. Yeah, triple relic. What else do we have in our sideboard? Flaring pain is going to be big. Yeah, I'll probably bring in these five cards. Might switch out. <laughs> It'd be funny to bring in the Mystics and just ignore Red, so that all their Hydro Blasts are just for like Lightning Bolt. Let's brainstorm to set this up. That's why we're playing it. They want to counter. Much rather you get fine. That's great. Good job. I hope it flips anyway. That'd be funny. Haha. Uh -huh. Flips anyway. Sucker. Okay. Yeah, Island's the play. Let's go. That's a true statement there. I'm not sure what Turbo Fog looks like this month. It does seem to change a lot. You know, Spell Slam, about two years ago, when we were riding high, they loved uh, Brute Squad. That channel just... Like most channels, just kind of dissipated and went away. But I, I thought he was going to be the heir to stay, but I haven't seen him any recent videos or something. But anyway, um, he had quite the, uh, if you go back to our Simic Fog list from like two years ago, in the dis video description, there'll be like an entire, like, um, what do you call, uh, cheat sheet slash, you know, how-to guide and stuff. But, but um, things like, you know, the campfire and stuff makes it very hard to do that. Yes. Okay, let's draw some cards. Woo! Uh, maybe I should have a Reckless Charge in here, huh? I do like that card a lot. Boy, I saw... If y'all haven't seen... I know I bragged about this the first time I saw it, but my son showed me the... Uh, okay, we're getting bogged. Gotta, gotta pay attention here. What is it that? The main card place... Um, they do the uh, commander, gosh, I can't, uh, game nights. They did one of the new expansion, and the beginning of it was done like a little crime scene, and God, that was so well done. They should win an award for that. Their stuff's usually really good, but it was incredible this time. Probably walking into a moments, not a moments PC. Uh, hold on, is that even going to be relevant? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, to kill fiend or not to kill fiend. Let's go, let's go with the big boy here. Bring out this dude. I've already been countered twice. Be pretty interested. Suspect if they've got a they have a third. Okay. Well, we're just drawing a lot of cards here. And we're getting in for damage. Unless they just have an old school fog here. Here we go. It's like the uh, mana gods sent us this match. Yes, we will keep drawing lots of cards. Boy, it'd be really nice if that spell... What is that spell? I keep wanting to say snare. I know it's not snare. Spell pierce. Pierce. Sp spell. <laughs> SP. It's the first two letters. <laughs> When start spinning fogs. Yeah, we'll brainstorm, or should we? Yeah, let's brainstorm. I can tunnel back a bunch of crap here. This looks to be the case. Yeah, let's put these back down. We'll draw one of them. Just 
escape tunnel not doing too much for us here. This way I can, uh, we'll pro we're probably walking right into um, what you call, hold on a minute here, probably a, a weather the storm turn here, I would imagine. We'll still get this, bring out the Kiln Fiend, we'll bring out the Delver, and we can lean on Apostles if they've got black for something else, I'm not sure. This is probably where Weather the Storm puts them pretty healthy, I would imagine. Spell Pierce is not going to do too much here. Jeez, we might have to snap our own thing. Sometimes you play a game a little too much, you know what I mean? Why bother playing when I know it's going to happen in the future? Wink, wink. Let's go get three of that back. Almost clicked the wrong place and walked right out of my turn there. Booyah! Still haven't seen Dune 2. Hear nothing but good about it. My mom didn't like it, but she didn't refresh the first one, and so it just felt like a fighting movie to her. But I've seen Oppenheimer twice this week. <laughs> we, we bought it about two months ago, and that movie keeps getting better. It's just a master class in acting. I'm so glad he won, or Killian, yeah, he won the uh, Best Actor. The music in that is just phenomenal. I've been listening, I, I have the soundtrack, and usually when I'm when I'm playing any of you and I'm not on the show, I'm listening to the Oppenheimer soundtrack. It's that, that good. I just love it. The rat has flipped. Flipped the script. I'm going to walk right into a fog here. I think I'm thinking we can snap our own Kiln Fiend if it falls under the uh, gaze of um, Tangle. That's the one I'm worried about here. Uh, but if they have it, they have it. I just got to go for it here. I'll snap my own Kiln Fiend if they have Tangle, just so we can have an attack next turn. They've gone really, really, really hard with uh, three Arcane Denials already. Pretty crazy. All right, we'll venture to do one of these. Let's call, I'll call it on the rat. Just so they don't get off too easy here. Christopher Nolan. Yeah, that's the one I did not want to see. Okay. Snaps useless in this matchup. We'll be losing at game two. Hopefully we won't even need to on game three. I know it's still our attack phase, but I'm going to do this now. Not like we have a wild mongrel to get rid of bad cards. We've already seen three arcane denials. If he has the fourth, well, sometimes that just happens. Still represents some damage next turn this way. Yeah, and Chimsky, I'm not quite sure where all the logic ends in that sort of style. Um, I'm of the opinion I like to get get rid of the problem. And they still have to draw or force them to, you know, get kind of a little dire in their uh, resources where they're in top deck mode for a fog. Just kind of keep leaning on them here. Like I said, we've already seen three Arcane Denials, so most of the stuff we're going to be able to do will work. Boy, I'm curious. I haven't seen a uh, growth spiral here with a bog engine. I'm really liking that new Brave. I think it's just Brave the Wilds, the green card that makes it land into a 3-3. I almost had a list ready to show you guys with that. But just Kenku does it so much better because it gets evasion. Yep. Oh, I have to start staggering the damage here. Not sure... Obviously, this isn't going to be valuable that way, but if we do draw into a uh, another Brainstorm or Ponder effect, it might become a thing. I'm just going to trip it at this stage. I'd rather thin out my deck. As opposed to wait for one card to pull, uh, pay off, right? Let's attack here. Six cards. This is rough. I mean, we're not wor worried about damage, right? 
We'll do the thing here, pay our life. There's a fog. All right. And we've got flaring pain too. So it's like, let's get to turn three. I think they might have pulled the trigger a little soon on that because I was going to battle rage there to just kind of force them to have something. But they do run old school fog. Not all this do. A lot of them just lean on the weather the storm package and the uh, double moments piece tangle effects. There's also the one that does that cycles. There's a lot of fog options out there. Sometimes the cycling one is, is preferable, but just because if you don't need it, cycle it. There it is, Lowell. Thank you, Nemchimsky. Bordering on a encyclopedic knowledge at, at the outset. All right. We are conceding. Going to a game where we have a chance. Fog. Never met a weather the storm pilot that runs away. They have plenty of people run away on them. I don't really want to be seeing this in this matchup. What what's useless here? Apostle's blessing is pretty useless. Of course, they could bring in some sort of like a echoing effect, but until we see it, we'll open up the board here. I know. Eh. Draw some cards with with this. Got flaring pain. Is that all I'm doing? You know, I had dispels in this for the longest time, and I, I was, I, I like disrupt too. That's one of my favorite blue cards, because you can really use your own spells on it a lot. Like snap, disrupt, pay the one, draw a card, snap, snap. Good stuff. I hope the spell pierce shows up. We don't really have much. Just true counter magic. These were just counter spells for a while, but you really have to respect the curve in this kind of style if you want to play op optimal. Ah, yeah, this is just edict. F I mean, um, moments peace food for right now. Let's. I would like to bring in a mystic over one of these, just for those swarms. You know, if, if Tangle shows up, I have a lot of creatures in the air. So if you send in a list to propaganda at gmail.com in the next week, make it a gutter snipe list. Want to play first? I sure do. Well, we'll mulligan. And we can mulligan aggressively against a fog list. Should we mulligan again? I think we should. We can mulligan a one against this list. Make him have to mill us out seven more turns. Well... That does seem like a pretty good hand, actually. If we hit a basic after we do the thing, let's keep this. Put a card on the bottom. Probably won't need you for quite a few years. Bloop. Done. All right. Obviously, we're going blue. Thank you, name Jim But don't just slap anything together and send it to me. <laughs> I got a pretty good radar for that stuff. Once in a while, I'll, I'll get an emailed list, and I'm like, boy, this person just spent no time on <laughs> researching this deck. Not often, though. Glitter snap. All right. Island it is. Man has been pretty good to us. I'm going to ask Methonical to uh, go over the mana here. I believe this is the same mana from a lot of winning lists back in the day. I haven't touched it much. All I did was swap Evolving Wilds for Escape Tunnel. Obvious upgrade there. It's like, make Evolving Wilds better. There you go. Come on. What they're waiting on. If I was a mill player, I would not be doing this because people quit on mill players a lot. 
and you're inviting them to with this slow play. Maybe they had to use the restroom. Who knows? I got to be more understanding. <laughs> oh, what does Aftershock do? I'm sure that's a card. I just don't know it. Yeah, I I haven't done it yet, Nimchimsky, but I definitely might. Uh, I don't like the brainstorm here because we could just top deck uh, Mountain. Let's put that energy out there, eh? Mountain. Come on, opponent. This is getting like bordering on rude when it's spread apart like this. Phone rings. Mailman. Got to go to the bathroom. Refill. It's one thing, but back to back to back. This is just... Hello. Sorry, everyone. All right. Let's brainstorm. Oh, is it? oh, that's right. That's the drink. That's why you might be going here. That's right. That's a common too, I think, right? I don't know what this person's plan is here. Okay, we'll put these on the top. Definitely the most useless. Let's play this. Go get red. As we wait 15 minutes for them to click yes. Could computer lag be that bad? I wish they had like two minutes left and played like this. <laughs> Maybe they're multi-queuing or something. That would probably make the most sense. Maybe some paid event just started and they're like, oh no. Come on. All right, I'm giving them the top of the minute. This is just boring. Let's go play another game. Sorry about that, everyone. Note to self, don't play them, at least today. Well, you get one more. Only 90 minutes in here. Boop. We'll call this the new five. Bonk. Just cross it off. Pow! How do you like that? I should have taken note of who, who the person was. Sure hope this isn't a rematch. Anybody pay attention? <laughs> I think it was. Create. All right. Over the list here. So we wait for the last round to start. Changes to be made. These haven't felt too good. I know in theory they're, they're going to save you a lot of early turns, but whatever. All righty. Can we get like a turn three win here? That'd be pretty sweet. Hmm. We're on the draw, we've got an early Delver. You know, ability to flip it, but that's uh, three turns away. I think I'm going to throw this back, mostly because of that. That's more than that. We'll keep this. Bring back one of our two snaps. <laughs> 480p, oh my gosh. How barbaric. All righty. That makes things a bit easier. I'll ponder instead here. Probably gonna... Let's throw all of that away. Of course, our mana's made right with that. Actually, let's keep this the way it is. Shuffle your library? Nope. Got part of our combo there. We can escape tunnel out the rest. Just need to find a crater. Crater, crater. Uh oh. All right. Delver here.
All right, we know Battle Rage is coming up next. Let's get our mana right. Brainstorm. See if we want to keep it. We're really after a creature here. All right, we can get rid of this. And uh, this is going to be really relevant. So is that. You know, the mutagenics, not all that great. And Lightning Bolt might not be either. I'm actually going to get rid of Lightning Bolt. I'll go get a red here. Probably should have waited on that. Let them know kind of what we're on now. Other than that, it was just a blue deck, you know, so a bit of a punt there. Definitely should have waited till end of turn for you noobs out there. I'm the king of noobs. At least I play like it sometimes, especially when I'm streaming. Ivan Lari is our opponent. I wonder what card has the record for reprints of art. Brainstorm's got to be up there. I think there's three or four of those. This archaeologist is really good in a tribe list, too. Double snuff out. Boy, this isn't looking good for us, guys. If I was going to think of a deck I would not want to bet money on for this beating, it would be one that runs snuff out main. That's eh, pretty scary. Dermag's back in hand. Tuck Ridge will probably beat Lightning Bolt. How do you mean, Mind Stab? Oh, as far as reprints, yeah. Yeah, that's a good call, Mind Stab. You're probably right. All right. Well. To walk into Counter Magic? I got a feeling they're hurt. They, they brought back an Angler. I think they're sitting on Counter Magic. I'm going to risk it. We're going to bring out our Cyclops while we have an opening. So we've got to turn. We'll kill next turn if our Apostle's Blessing sticks around. And so does our Cyclops till next turn. I would have one mana right now. Mm. Yeah, I'm more afraid of Counterspell right now than um, another Snuff Out since we've seen two in the yard. He's exiled one. I swore I saw two Snuff Outs. What happened? That thing's exiled. Stranger than fiction. All right. What are they going to reveal now? we get to untap, I'll feel a lot better. Another reason I liked uh, Mutagenic here, keeping it over uh, Lightning Bolt. It's going to come down to just that one turn. I don't want to be tapping too much mana. Up oh, there it is. Damn it. Mm, they got there. All right. All right. What is wrong with my eyes? I swore I saw two snuff outs, but there's nothing in exile. I don't know if they, I didn't see a way they could return it. It's strange. Sure. Okay. I'll <laughs> just play it again. We got an opening. Let's do it. Oh, com oh that's a good. Co yeah, Command Tower has been reprinted a, just a gazillion times. Any news from that cowboy set? Last I looked just yesterday and it looked like just lands and rares. Considered this Lorien revealed, but really clashes with this list. If you're hard casting that, you you're losing and early on, it, there's better things to be doing. Escape tunnel for one. Yeah, it's gotta be pretty hard to beat Command Tower for reprints. Good grief. All right, well, we're at least going to be able to bounce this angler. Problem is, they might have um, spell pierce. And by probably, it feels like they do. <laughs> I like this clock that the archaeologists have us on. It's like, indefinite. <laughs> Just keep playing magic. You'll find a way to win. Land, good times. This is a very good land draw. We'll snap here, being able to pay for spell peers if they have it. Tap two, good times. Let's go look for something. Hopefully it's a creature. No, it is not. Oh, boy. This is when Brainstorm gets really depressing. Make sure our lands have been played. <laughs> Angler's going to be hitting us soon, and we're going to have nothing to do but stare at lands that drop. Frustrating with a triple snuff out uh, game and and our deck gives us a, 
a bad future. It's rough, buddy. Anybody catch that soccer reference? Unexpected fangs. I like seeing that in the graveyard. Exiled the list. It's a snuff out. So there's technically one more snuff out. I wanna, if I remember to replay this and see where the hell that went. <laughs> counterspell. That's intimidating. Discarding a counterspell. Woo. I don't think I was talking soccer or football. Or is that directed at me? Okay. Yeah, this is over. We know what we're going to draw, and we can't. We can't survive, so we might as well just go to game two. So we've got two hollow draws. That's 20 damage. Bam. All right. Mystic's definitely going to make it in. And all of our hatred here. I think that's about it. Snap's awfully good. A lot of these are good. I think I can go down to two of these. Mutagenic, I love you, but uh, might not need it. But a lot less is a uh, lightning bolt. So I think I'm going to go like this. Oops. How do we like that? I've got a whole lot of creatures for edict effects and such. Well, we're going to. But I heard so something about a soccer reference. Hmm. I don't remember doing so, but it could have happened. Yeah, let's go with this. These lose a little bit of currency because of snuff out. That's ability to really make us pay for going all in, so I'll just lean on two of those for now. Talk about another deck that I really wish I had dis, uh, disrupt. Or dispel, excuse me. Yeah, disrupt would be good too. Yep, let's go first. Pretty good hand. We just need red to show up. I'll keep this. It's going to be neat to see this guy actually work. Hopefully we, we successfully cast him and it doesn't walk right into a counter spell. <laughs> we saw hit the yard in a very intimidating fashion. Now, is this another mean brainstorm turn, right? I think if my life depended on it in a deck like this, I might play Ponder over this just out of like, I mean, preordain. Digs one less deep, but you, you don't get those depressing turns. And because this is a blue list, I'm going to do it right now. It doesn't pay to uh, walk right into their spell pierce. Right now, they need foil. All right, this is depressing. We will get to Mystic Math, but, uh, oof. but the only good thing here is uh, we can wait on Spell Pierce early game here. But yikes, Brainstorm! So many times it should be called Despondent Storm. <laughs> that would really suck to know that like the next two weeks is gonna really suck. <laughs> That's kind of what Brainstorm does on a card level, right? Where you're just like, you got all this hope, like, oh, am I gonna get that promotion? Am I gonna? Nope. Not only do you not get the promotion, your car breaks down and you run out of gas, and uh, what else could happen? Uh, jury jury duty. How's that? All right. This is the play lands and wait plan here. Yeah, despondency. Good artwork, if I'm remembering right. I wish they would uh, make gloom a common. I used to have a lot of fun with that in my sideboard. All right, keep my finger off the button so that I can do stuff like Spell Pierce. Hiya! For sure. No depression for you. No setups. Keep on honest. And it's an island. Can't be a Dover. I really hope they tap out here so we can get that Mystic online. But even if we do, outside of a mutagenic growth, might walk right into an edict, and then there goes that plan. But hmm, given that, I think if I drop a red source, I might try to just power out the Nivix and eat a snuff out or three. <laughs> I might be the first person to say that. Ah, uh, what do you say, boys and girls? Walk into a counter spell. Sure. Boop. Change it up. <laughs> yep. Down that goes. One snuff out down. Only seven more removal spells to work through. I'm putting them on cast down for obvious. 
Yeah, if Contrarian was a creature type, I would be it. I'm going to do this now. We haven't hit a land drop. We still represent some sort of a threat here. This is pretty good times. Uh, da, 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 da. Do I really need that many of those? Hmm. Snap's going to be relevant really soon. This is super relevant. I'm not going to be going all in on Rage here. Maybe I will with that, though. This is a tough one. I'll put back this, and I guess the Snap. Escape Tunnel. Mana is right. We've waited too long. Feels like we're going to lose this one. Conan the Contrarian. <laughs> it's like his long-lost brother, right? He put down the sword and picked up the pin. That would be on the movie poster. Or one, one used the way of the sword, the other the way of the mind. The Conan Bros. Let's go get our stuff. Boop. I like having that blessing, but these things have to land for them to be relevant. That's good. I don't know if I'm going to overpay for something. You could argue uh, Comfy might be the better play here, so we can. I think it is. We've seen. We know they're running at least two spell pierce. This will allow us to be able to pay for the uh, blessings ability, or or to pay for uh, spell pierce. I'm going to just bring this out. There was a time blue was so everywhere that I was actually brewing with the Avamaya Barbarian there, Demos. Yep. Can't do nothing about that until it lands. All right. Ooh, that's a pretty one, though, isn't it? Slanom. Slaomir. Slaomir Manek. Very cool. Good morning, Fuji Purple. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to dust this off. It's been years. And I was like, hey, we've got Escape Tunnel. That's a pretty nice little upgrade to Wilds, right? Being able to s trigger that first and sneak on through. Doing pretty good today. Only thing we lost to was uh, RDW or Goblins or Burn or whatever you want to call it. It's all red and it wins all the time. I call it RDW. Come on. Let's hope this lands here. Two, three. Boop. Mother, may I? We haven't drawn any of our sideboard yet. Okay, that worked. Hmm. Let's hold on. We might need that for the ability. Feeling pretty good here with that Rage Double Apostle Blessing here. Yeah. We could keep it alive twice. Don't do it on my turn. Don't do it. No. This is one we don't want to see a spell pierce, right? Snuff out number two. Did they have a counter? Did they just overboard? It's not drawing any of their uh, creature threats. I don't know. There it is. That's what I was playing around last turn. Okay. Say no. Say no. God, that thing is so irritating. Counter target spell. Remind them four times. Sure would be nice to have ah, Tamir Battle Rage at the ready right now, right? Bonk. Okay, they've got one card. We've got one card. Whose is better? If they drop a creature, we've got an answer in the tunnel. And we get Hydro Blasted. That just kills it. All right, let's get rid of this for a basic land. We've got a mountain, so we're more likely to draw something threatening. And it's dead. Probably the worst matchup you could face between the blasts and everything else. It's, it gets pretty crazy. They have one card in their hand. I'm going for it. And it's an answer. Yep. You can tell by my voice and tone. I have resigned myself to defeat. We have to top deck really good here. Like a ponder into a Nivix. Man, that feels pretty good. We'll at least draw a card here. Where's your counter now, sucker? Woo! Draw a card. 
I don't care about our graveyard. Hey, yay, yay. I'm doing this just so we up our chances to hit. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. More than halfway through our lands. We all know what that means. And I'm going to draw three in a row because this is the cruel crunch time. Who's going to top deck an answer? Out to the lead is our opponent with a brainstorm setting up. The next few turns, either in depression or fandom. Looks like depression, as they drop an island when they don't need any more. Mystic, even. All right. Hey, it's not a land. I'm not going to complain. Powering stuff up. That battle rage with Kelmfine and Cyclops, it goes online after one spell. Just bonk! <laughs> Triggers itself. <laughs> it's crazy. Double strike. Triple. Do you know what that could actually do to the format? Which one? Ooh, really like this draw. Hopefully it works. Cool. You know, tempted to, uh, hmm. uh, 16. Let's do a double draw of creatures, eh? Nope. Good grief. Sitting on another counterspell. Wow. All right. Between the snuff outs and those, it just feels now they're hellbent. <laughs> Let's see if we can keep this up. Nim was joking about banning commons and monitor. Oh, okay. That would be funny. Well, thanks to Mutagenic, we can battle rage our <laughs> Delver if we need to. Brainstorm coming up next. We have used quite a few escape tunnels so far. Let's see what this turns up. Hopefully it's not a snuff out. I might want to pay attention to a uh, game log. Learn review. Man, I wish I had a counter for that. That's probably the nail in the coffin there. Hmm. One of the cool things, if you do get an account at gatherling.com to play in those Popper Classic Tuesday tournaments that I'm always promoting, is um, it'll tell you neat little stats, like who your worst opponent is, or like your nemesis, I think they call it. And, but one of them, it points out, after you've played long enough, like what your most favorite card is across all deck styles, right? Mutagenic was always mine. It always said that. All right, let's go find a snap. Brainstorm into a snap would be good. We will say yes, because we know it's a brainstorm. It flips. We'll brainstorm now. Snap, please. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Snap. There's our snap. Oh, we got all kinds of goodies here. Won't be needing this anytime soon. And I think I'll sit on this one too. Do that. Let's play our guy first. So we get the birdie. Yeah, we're good to go. Play this. Snap this. Yield to this. Untap two of these so we act like a control boss. There it is. Thank you, Nemchimski. Now we're the one with the counter spell. This stage of the game, though, they just recast it. Tough decision here. If they do point at Mystic, is it really worth two birds? I mean, they can block the five fives eventually, but we've got six turns if we do that play. I don't think I would put them on sweepers at this stage. They've only got one card in their hand. Why they've just they've had it all. They've been drawing very good against us. At least it feels that way. I'm sure they're complaining about their hands somehow, but ponder. Hey, sometimes decks listen to you. 
No counter magic present. Ooh, another snap. I like that a lot. We'll put this bottom here. No. Snapple. Whoosh. This might do it for us here, tempo-wise. All right, cool. We got there with the token man. Win. And it's the last round, folks. I think we're pretty good here. Doop, boop, boop, boom. Yeah, what time is that, Ninchemski? When it, it's five o'clock in the afternoon or evening for me. Yeah, this is the last round. Love. These really helped us get. I think we're all right. I think getting down on one of these is, is the right call. Let's run it back. Got all our token generators. We haven't seen any edicts. All we've seen is snuff out, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wow, yeah. God, that puts you, like, dead in the morning. You're right. All right, we'll keep this. Mostly because of this. We can get to turn four and hard cast this. It's kind of a bad plan. We've got to see what we're going to draw. That tunnel into Ponder is going to be huge. Hopefully it doesn't get countered. This is the tiebreaker. Delver showing up. Going to tell our secrets to our opponent. Island for sure. Pass for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it is more of a West Coast thing. There's no, nothing stopping anybody from starting their own, you know. Just email the coordinator, get your little logo on there, and make it Popper Classic Saturdays or whatever you want, or maybe even on a Tuesday if you want to keep the same name. And then there could be a European time. I know I've talked about that before. It's getting easier and easier to find, like, automation software that runs, like, tournaments like that. I've seen some pretty impressive ones. Gaveling is not one of them. <laughs> Let's go while we can. Let's probably get pyroblasted, but... Yep, yep. All of those are there and relevant. Okay. I'm sure this Kelmfiend is not going to live to tell his tale. Tell that his tale's on fire. Yeah, Magic Online Society is the new host. Boy, am I sure glad I used up all my credits. I still have, like... I don't know, six or seven dollars with um, uh, what, what NTGO Traders. That was the original host, but boy, it's getting pretty scary. Get to buy a lot of stuff that I'm like, well, I don't really need that, but I guess I should have four of those. Never thought that would go away. All right, there's snuff out number one. Bum, bum, bum. Come on, land. Alrighty. I care more about hitting my land right now than uh, a Delver happening, so I'm going to ponder. Don't. Oh, God. I, I know. I was afraid of that. It's like, I wish I could just drop a land here and be like, so what? No. I'll ask you eight times. All right. Island's our best pull right now. I'm not quite sure what my line would be if I did top deck an island. Putting out our only other big threat is a bit risky at this stage. Might want to set it up with Delver. Why am I whispering? My opponent can't hear me. <laughs> you did a top, so it's rare that they do it back to you. <laughs> consider, consider the following. Consider I'm going to snap whatever you bring out, unless it's that. You know, I can't think of a worse outfit for an archaeologist to be wearing. You know, in the dirt, digging up stuff, you want some clunky old dress. That was, that was a, I wonder if that was, uh, they just threw the name on it. Well, no, because they're digging up stuff. The shovel's there. Nah, just a, not a very realistic decision, right? Says the guy talking about a fantasy game. All right. Well, let's bring out the rat. We can at least protect it via blessing. We'll use the tunnel ability, go get an island, and we'll start playing magic next turn, I promise. Really like to top deck another land so we can pay for blessing and get that Cyclops out doing stuff. Love Apostle's Blessing. Well, 
one of those ultra answers whenever you, you're caring about creatures that is always available to every deck out there. We were talking at the beginning of the show about having sort of a template like for red decks so you can just copy paste it and build your new deck on top of it. Don't have to go find your lands. It's a good thing to do. But uh, there's also maybe a good pull from template where you just have like just good cards. I have I do have a deck list like that. I, s- I have to add the next, last like three or four expansions to it because I haven't revisited it. When I was first designing propaganda and filming my screen a lot, you know, I made a lot of these little pseudo lists of all the best one drops, all the best. So when you see like the, you know, sort of effect, that's what I was able to do is just speed ramp that. All right. They have returned. I didn't even pay attention to what they returned. It's a terror. Oh, the terror. The terror has awakened. Don't want to risk a snap here. First of all, we can't pay for it. That would cost four. Hey, <laughs> cool if we could untap it while it's being cast, but it doesn't work that way. I don't think it's I'm glad the rain has been quieted. All right, there's one snap target. I have seen somebody on Demir play a, playing a foil, you know, the counterspell discarded a card and an island. It happened this week. No. <laughs> this is more of a delver of a speed bump here. Let's snap this this dude back. Turning this. I'm not returning. I'm tapping this, this, and this. I'm going to play it naked and hope they don't have it. They probably do, but at some point we've got to uh, pull the trigger here, right? Haven't seen any edict effects. Consider. Yeah, no. You play a uh, foil on somebody, it usually, it's usually pretty backbreaking. It should be for the cost, boy. That's an expensive little dive into investment there. Problem for me right now is there's about three decks that I keep rotating. And on a personal level that I love to play, but it makes for a boring stream if I play the same deck or just, you know, a month apart or something. So I've been having a lot of fun with Blackburn. Got a new build of that that I've been uh, tweaking. But it was only two months ago that I played it, so... Pardon me. Make sure there's no tissue dust on my nose. Yeah, mind stab. Totally right. It is tough to find that one. They should have. It's like they had a shortage of words when they were coining that one, right? Like, I know what we'll call it. We'll call it morph. <laughs> nope. Glad I drew this. We're going to have to block with that. Um, kind of our only out here. You can really feel that they have spell pierce in their hand. Or is this for spike? Oh, my goodness. That'll end the game there. Looks like a 3-2 on the day. But if we're going to lose to a deck, this is the one I would have bet on beating us just about every time. Not even our Delvers are on our side. Look at this. Blasphemy. Well, we could draw a Kiln Fiend. i got to block one of these. We could draw a Kiln Fiend and uh, drop a Delver for a blocker. Maybe get away with something if they have just lands in their hand, but... Yeah, that's a good point, Mind Step. They just shouldn't have called foils. Foils. You can always tell foils in a deck, right? They're always the bent cards. All right. 3-2 on the day. This is a deck I, I would expect you would not want to run up against, right? So, yeah. Dusted this off. Took it for a spin. Really liking it. Very fast deck. It's um nothing new to old schoolers, but new players might be a little. You could also use um, Emoliating Soul Eater. In the two drop spot which is an artifact and it doesn't do the kiln fiend cyclops dance as far as boosting stuff but you can pay life or red mana for it so what did we learn what did we learn not too much today <laughs> but i could always roll to that anyway um yeah i think mystic might deserve one spot i'm not sure in this metagame 
if I had to play like with money on the line, I might put them in the spot of this just so you have a lot more longevity later on in the deck because you know between ponder and brainstorm being able to go find your threats, it doesn't take much to kill somebody. Um, so my in this metagame with so many edicts, you know we didn't see one, and I had a really weird feeling like I was I was thinking to myself, wow, this is a terrible list outside of you know drawing our answers for the edict effects, and I was like, but because of that. I had a weird feeling we weren't even going to see one a day, and it happened. And we did play an all-black deck. So that's just how magic works, right? You plan for plan A, and all you see is Z, X, and Q. All right, guys. We're going to uh, – oh, Sadar's going to – yeah, I was thinking of that for um, Edict Removal 2. Um, just never been too big of a fan of that card. But it is an option. You can keep it, keep it rolling. Anyway, guys, I'm going to head out. I'll be playing on all day, all whatever. We're going to uh, go out with uh, Zodiac for the popper – uh, what do you call it? Popper Zodiac. That's what I mean to say. Anyway, we'll see you same time, same place next week on Popper Ganda. Adios, everybody.